Hello everyone, welcome back to MTX Moto Tracks. I'm in Setic. With me today is Jersey Jimmy. Hey, I got top billing, I like it. And United Movie Maker. I got second billing, yeah. Yeah, well, Woo! Blink Tester can't make it, so it's a three person billing. Technically, I got top because I started it off, but uh. You always get top billing. Yeah. I, I led you guys in. I could have just not said your names and you'd have just still been waiting there, but. All right, here is what the main event, what y'all are waiting for. We're finally getting a master class. So this video is Supercross 250 master class. So. Hell yeah. And oh, we're just jumping right into the action. Oh, we just won. Okay, five minute video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Well, we're gonna <laughs> jump in to see my Kawasaki playthrough because you know, in the previous videos, previous races, I've been running this dual playthrough thing. And usually that's been working out pretty well. But let's see how I do on the Kawasaki bike, because 250 Master is a lot harder than 250 East or West. It's the same engine class, but it gets way tougher. So after a decent start, um, I start kind of placing middle of the pack, and the same people kind of place top of the pack, so they get like 10 points, and I'm getting like 4. Yeah. Um, so now we're halfway through, and as you can see, this is all eight venues, so doing one of these takes like 40 minutes. Um, was that Minneapolis? Uh, no, that's Denver, I think. A Oof. decent run, but again, same people scored above me, more points. Jeez, San Francisco, same people scored house. above me, more points. And by this point, I'm not taking home the gold. I'm trying, but I'm getting a file folder at the end of this. Oh. Ezra Lusk up there is just pulling away. Yeah! Daytona, I'm right up there, right at the finish line. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Man, oh, man. man, choke job. Even, I know your pain, man. Even though I got second, same person, Ezra Lusk gets the more points. Atlanta, it's a gimme, but still, at the end of this 40 minute thing with Kawasaki, I just couldn't get first place. And. That's if you don't get first, I mean, you don't get the uh, you don't get the reward that you would get for being yes. all the supercross the in first place. You can put your file folder in your afro. Yeah, yep. yeah. Oh man, this is hardcore. So uh, I mean, I mean, the Kawasaki had pretty decent stats, but I just, you know, I'm not good enough to win with it. So yeah, I'm not ready to take on better competition. The way that sounds, it makes it sounds like it's gonna like unlock another whole class or whatever. But no, this is the top. Yep. Um, but yeah. Five hundred. Jump. Yeah, we're not doing six hundred. I can me. Pros. Honestly, when when I started the game, I was like, if it's only one twenty-five and two fifty, that doesn't seem like a lot. But by the time I'm here, if I finally beat this and it unlocked another engine class. God, I'd be pissed. Yeah. That'd be way too fucking much. Yeah, because by this point, uh, the uh, AI's already at, like, Mario Kart levels. Yeah, like, he, so here's my orange bike with top speed, and you need your proto a prototype bike with a lot of upgrades. Like, they expect you to come in to the event with one of these. And, I mean, let's just watch. You know, I'm going to show off at least a lap from each event, so let's just... Watch how the AI performs, how I perform, how oh, I Oh yeah, and there's, uh, there's three lap sounds instead of two. No, wait. There were three laps in the Supercross. I'm thinking of Motocross. I had two laps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supercross is always three. But, like, um... Yeah, the AI is just hitting things perfectly. Like, they land and then they can immediately slow down. The AI takes turns so good... Oh my god. ...that, like... They're magnetic. They that's have why they prototype call them 250 bikes masters. over prototype bikes. I, how the, f they, like, the, the disparity between what you can do and what they can do is way too much. Like, Jimmy, am I taking corners like shit? Yeah, kind of. Well, I, I should, know. I should let you answer. No, okay. Um, and so I was really that good at taking corners myself, honestly. Yeah. So, LA, uh, you can squeeze out a victory pretty much at the end. Um, there's, there's some of these tracks, I'll say, there's some of these tracks that are gimmies, that you should win, like, I win by 20 seconds, you should be able to win. Um, and then there are ones where I'm just like, yeah, you're not getting first. You're not getting top three. <coughs> Daytona! Well, Travis Pastrana uh, has a teleporting bike, like in a couple of episodes ago. Yeah. Or last Travis well, that was what the free rides. a cyborg robot master yeah. motocross. But, I don't know, there's like, you know, there's like 
a way to take turns well, which is like drop the clutch, start turning, start braking, get in a straight line, let off on the clutch, and you'll get like a speed boost. But the AI can just like spin on a dime and then rocket off at full speed pretty much immediately. Like, and I mean, just, you can't make mistakes. I mean, I get it, it's the last event, but you can't really make any mistakes on any of the courses that aren't gimme courses. And honestly, it's kind of frustrating, you know, because previously, you know, when I kind of fucked up, I'd be like, ah, shit, I screwed that up, but I could, I'm still in this. Here, when I fucked up, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, you know? It's ogre. I just, I feel bad, you know? I, I screwed up, I was like, fuck me, you know? And I don't think video games should get people to feel like that. Yeah, I think you got a point there, because when you're just ye yelling and cursing at the game, it's not really a game anymore, it's just a chore. Yeah, like, uh, though I've kind of stayed away from racing games, like, you know, especially the hard ones, like Gran Turismo or whatever. Oh, yeah. I played, uh, do kind of play play for fun for, yeah, you know, for the longest stage, time. I five, 24 hours. Yeah. You missed yeah. the yeah. last yeah. corner you played F -Zero? Tw hour 23. <laughs> no, I have not. F-Zero is fucking insane. Maybe, yeah, so maybe at a certain point, like, getting super challenged to be able to drive perfectly is for a certain audience, and maybe I'm overplaying this up, like... Jimmy, you know, what What do you think about kind of getting to master level and playing there? Um, I haven't really played um, Masters that much in the gosh. past few years. I really just play, uh, what is it called? I usually Good just play quick you play. Restart there. But when I do play okay. Masters, I kind of have some trouble, but it's not like I'm getting last place every race. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll what's get, the like, difficulty level of quick play? Like, can you set that? Uh, not, not from what, what I know. It's not that hard. It's like, it's like the 250 East and West. Yeah, and again, those were great difficulty. Like, yeah, it's perfect. I don't know why the word came out like that, but think about this kind of natural progression of the player. Like, I know these games. You know, I know racing games. I know, you know, you gotta, you want to cut a cut a corner on the inside rather than stay on the inside the whole straightaway and then fly off into the handle. Doesn't stop me from doing it, but um, yeah, weird moments still happen, but. I know how to handle these kinds of games, and like, it was a natural progression of, okay, this is getting tougher, I need to play better, whatever. And then I hit this, and it's, it's not, a, this isn't as much of a brick wall, uh, the 250 Nash, uh, Master Nationals is gonna be god-awful. Oh god. But, <laughs> yeah, and that's where, like, hopefully you guys are in these videos to hear discussion and whatever. If you wanna hear people having fun, and like, okay, not having fun, but like, cracking funny jokes or whatever, I'll see you guys in a couple videos. I'll just <laughs> say that. Um, <laughs> but Phoenix, uh, I think, I don't exactly remember how I do, I guess second. So That's I don't think right. Phoenix is a gimme, but if you're decent, you can kind of place high. Well, no, um, the AI just, isn't again, really being that consistent here. Like a different person's getting first every time or second or whatever. Yeah, and that really helps out. Like, you'll see Ezra Lusk and Chad Reed kind of go back and forth. And when I got when when I lost the Kawasaki one, Ezra would always get first. Yeah. And you know, higher distribution of points. Yeah, I mean, if you're always placed in third, but like different people are placed in first and second, then yeah, I guess it makes sense that in the end you yeah. kind of come out ahead. Kind of like NASCAR, do you well. don't really have to win every single race in the season to win the overall championship. Yeah, yeah. Um, but obviously it's a video game, so some of the AI is going to be better than other people. Tim Ferry yep. is never going to get first. Jamie Dobb is never going to win. Jamie Dobb. Yeah. Travis Sorry, Travis. Travis not even doing any well. Yeah. You know, Sorry. Travis isn't really even that good at 250 in real life. He's like a 125 legend, but in 250 he's... Eh. Just... Eh. Yeah, I mean, he's more known for his freestyle. True. True. And even rally racing. I mean, I'm sure, like... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know where I was going with that. But, uh... Remember when Travis tried doing NASCAR? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw something on that. He did NASCAR for a little bit. Yeah, he wasn't really that good. Yeah, he did. 
I don't huh. think it lasted too long. Nope. Maybe? Yeah, that's why I said a little bit. I he mean, didn't get into the top series. Poor guy. Yeah. But uh, St. Louis, for how kind of troublesome it was in the 250, you know, normal event, I'd say this is kind of a gimme. Um, I mean, with all of these gimmies, you still need to play well. Like, yeah. I'm not saying... Always gotta be you on know, your guard. You're out of, you could just bumble up in here and get first. But, I mean, I'm... I picked up this game to let's play it. You know, I'd never played it before. I'm not gonna play it for for weeks more, for months more. I'm basically gonna be done as soon as I show it off. Amateur. And yeah. Oh, and also I should say then, this recording, this series, well, the Kawasaki I played first, but I lost. So this series is the first one on the orange bike. This is my second time going through 250 Masters. So it's also not like I did a ton of preparation. I mean, I I know the courses because I've had to play them so many times. Yeah. But still. I mean, all things considered, you're doing really well. Yeah. It's just, again, when, especially, like, fucking up in here, some of these corners, the AI just... Like, how did you cut it, cut on the inside and go flying off like that? Like, Minnesota, like, has some real moments where the AI just gets ahead, but... Uh, it's yeah, not Minnesota, I mean, it's Minneapolis? Oh, sorry. God! Whatever. Shows how much I know about this game. <laughs> but yeah, also, like, I still I still have to point out that that skyline is not Minneapolis at all. That's New York. Yeah, I was thinking, that looks kind of like the Empire State Building. I haven't yep. been to Minneapolis, or when it, wherever. Well, no. I mean, that's why they call it Lil New York. Because they just put up the New York skyline, you know? But it's like cardboard. No, Lil New York is a casino in Las Vegas. Yeah. It's like a rural stadium that they set up this and just put up a fake skyline. Yeah, yeah, it's like the North Korea of stadiums. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also, I don't know what it is about this jump, but that's two laps in a row I've just crashed on it. Uh, <laughs> um, but whatever. Third lap, it's alright. I got behind again, but, you know. And then boom. You're going three too far. Three for three, I crashed on that jump every fucking lap. You're going too far. You gotta, hit the, uh, you gotta hit the landing. Oh, and, and then it just goes off the side. Yeah. So yeah, I, I kept losing my lead and gaining it again, and then or, or, and then losing it again. But hey, I won again. I won. I don't give a shit. So I, I mean, you can kind of do some math in your head. Like at a certain point, like how can I play? based on if a certain AI keeps getting 10 points and then I keep getting, like, 7, and you'll know where you're good, you know? Oh, hey, San Francisco. Like, I didn't get to comment on this one because I wasn't in the video. Um, oh, yeah, I guess. Do you have anything to say about it? It's a pretty spot-on recreation of AT&T Park, actually. They even got the giant Coke bottle. Hmm. But it's a Sobe yeah. bottle, right? Yeah, you can't. They don't have the sponsor yeah, this in this was, game. They gotta make it what they got. This was... Yeah, yeah see? Right there. Uh, yeah, I really like the discussion about Sobe in the last episode this was featured Is it pronounced in. Sobe? Yeah, I mean... Sobe's a divisive topic. What do you guys think? Do you have any deep thoughts on... <laughs> I've uh, tried, or, like, a I've half, never, half a bottle once. I've never had it. It was no. okay. They don't sell them in, like, Walmart. Like, okay, you have to I, have to, uh, I have to elaborate. I was born in 1997, so I wasn't really old when soap was big, I guess. God, I'm old. God, I'm fucking old. Every time I talk to Blackout or Matt Rocks or you guys, and I've got, like, four years on you, I'm like... Jeez. You got Ugh. your senior discount at Kroger. You pick up some <laughs> I'm legit, like, it, you know, if you guys follow my channel, you've seen that... I do a bunch of, like, SSX3 speedrunning and such. Me and this other guy, Rithic, are legit, like, five years older than anyone else on the Discord. It's insane. Jeez. Okay, I won't say five years, but, like, we're definitely the, the big boys. Man, I can't believe 1997 um, was 36 years ago. God, yeah. It sounds boring. Terms. I know, man. Tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's uh, like, pretty sad when you, you get, like... Very low double digits for your tax return. Yeah. 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 
No, oh, well, well, now that I'm now that I'm fucking ancient, you guys, I've picked up uh, knitting, knitting, and some croquet. Oh, I think I might turn my channel into a knitting channel. Have you bought your Corvette yet? Are you going to be a story Every time? aging Are white you... man needs one. <laughs> <laughs> These video games. I mean, you guys start I'm a story I'm up time here knitting channel. I'm, t I'm up here talking about how hard it is, and, like, what you guys don't know is that I've got, like, prescription glasses that are two inches thick, you know? Like, I've just... My hands have arthritis when I try to play the game. That's why it's so hard, you know? Babies could do this. You know, that's the deep secret here. I'm still waiting for Gravity Games Bike story time. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> here, play the game for five minutes and then get back to me. <laughs> I'm trying to get it on a uh, emulator. Yeah, PS2 emulator. Everyone who wants me to play more Gravity I'll Games I'll call you like a minute 30 after I've gone through and like, what is this? Yeah, if the next words out of your mouth aren't... If the next words out of your mouth aren't, I'm sorry, Insetic. Now I know your pain. Now I know why you despise this game so much. I will never suggest that you play any more of it. Actually, I, I don't know how my own advance. sentence started, that? but that better... I don't know how my sentence started, but that better be what you're saying. What I gotta do, what we gotta do, is take the levels from that game and put them in Thug Pro. I looked yeah. up Thug Pro. You, you either have to download it illegally or buy a $35 copy on eBay. For like yeah, you, the, you the can base download game. Tony Hawk's Underground too. It's not that hard yeah. to find. I mean, you know, no free lunch and all that sheesh. You know, it's a video game. You know, gotta it's... drop some cash to get it legally. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, Fuck the Daytona, police. I didn't show a lot of what I didn't show a lot of what happened in the middle, but I went from like one second ahead to like eighteen ahead. Uh, As I'd say that's probably again. No, he just went off the side. Yeah. Okay. And then Atlanta. Man, I wish Blank Tester were here because there's one thing in these games that he always loves seeing. And since I know Atlanta's a oh, gimme, oh sweet, first person. I'm gonna go first oh, person. Oh man, yeah. Ha. <sighs> this is actually really good first person. Like they actually have the handlebars in front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the front wheel and all that. Yeah, it could have yeah. just been a flat screen or whatever. Yeah, it's not like an afterthought. Although this kinda... isn't very accurate to Atlanta, or at least. As far as I know. Maybe maybe in the years they did this, it was at the baseball stadium. Uh, it seems pretty accurate to me. It's but Turner it, Field. Yeah. Yeah. This is supposed to be a really big Turner Field. Oh, jeez, you're right. I mean, look at the crowd. This is like the biggest stadium in the world, apparently. Yeah, and I don't know what those buildings are, but there's definitely not an Activision building like five feet next to Turner Field. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's no buildings next to Turner Field now because Turner Field doesn't exist anymore. Oh uh, yeah, that's Dang. been happening. It was Hashtag, a perfectly, it was a perfectly you know. good ballpark. Why did they have to move to a completely different ballpark in the suburbs, no less? Uh, I, I don't think baseball teams. Well, there's should play. your answer. There's I don't think answer. baseball teams should play in the suburbs because there's 82 games a year. Sorry, 81 games a year at home. Season passes. They, they should that's be in why. the middle of the city. I'm... Uh, have you tried driving in the middle of a city? Every time there's an event going on in Denver, I, like, have to stay on the side roads. Public like, transportation. Yeah. It yeah. was a, a good first game when they opened up the new stadium and then the, uh, the bridge collapsed on one of the major interstates. Oh, jeez, God. Yeah. That, uh, I don't know, that sucks. I can't say anything about that. Oh, it was pretty funny. Just people were saying, oh, yeah, it's uh, Sherman's Curse. I guess so. Um, well, so, yeah, you and know. you saw, like, first person, if you do, like, a backflip or a 360 or a barrel roll, the camera will track. That's uh, really cool. Yeah. Regular regular tricks, it yeah, does. Yeah, <laughs> like, That's a barrel the, roll. The camera is, like, not on your guy. It's literally on the bike. So while you're doing some sick knack-knack or whatever, the camera will just stay facing straight. But... Yeah, it was pretty nice first yeah. person. It kind of weaved diagonal and whatever as you did turns and drifts around. It's uh, better yeah. than the one in Tony Hawk 3, at least. Uh, I don't remember that. It was bad. Hmm. So what yeah. did they tell wait, you? Wait, 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 wait. What is You've this gone too far. Stop. 
What is this music? I have never heard this before. Um, oh, oh, oh. This is a metal track I just threw in because oh. what was playing got my video blocked. Metallica? And it would have been weird for us to be co commenting over silence. Good point. Um, but, yeah, what yeah, is it? Yeah, apparently what was uh, the, uh, the reason, what was the reason the, uh, no video? one remembers... Or, sorry, what? the song. What was the song that got blocked? Uh, it was one of Il Nino's songs. Oh. Really? Il Nino? That's what they want to block? Yeah, you wonder why no one remembers Il Nino? Maybe it's because if you try to use their songs, your videos get blocked on YouTube. But anyway, uh, so for beating Supercross Master, you get a unlockable character Sweet. to play in Quick Play. The Maggot, I think it was. Yep. Um, Slipknot. Yeah. Oh shit, you're right, probably from Slipknot. <laughs> yeah, it but, is. Uh, it, I know it's from Slipknot, because I played the game. I forgot what the people in Slipknot were named. Uh, Corey but, Taylor, uh, Jim Rude, right. Joey Jordison, yeah. Sid Wilson, Nick Thompson, yeah. Sean Crahan. Uh, more than uh, me. They just come on the radio and I just throw out my head bangs and that's it. Hell but, yeah. Um, Rock and right. roll. That was Supercross 250. All of those required some restarts, you know? Like, I'd get to the track, fuck things up, but kind of learn incrementally, and with top speed, I was able to get through it eventually. I can't be too mad at that, but next time on Nationals 250 Master, whew, we're going to have... We're, things are going to get quite heated. Things got quite heated while playing, so yeah. you guys will see that. But thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me, Jimmy, Movie Maker. No problem. Sure thing. And we'll see you next time. Welcome to hell.